Hey, good afternoon. It is Eric Arnold, the Big E, here on this Labor Day, Monday the 6th of September. We're here in the sports barn, back in our home studio. We were away this weekend, uh, uh, catching a few beers. Well, maybe more than a few. In uh, Cincinnati with Chuck, who uh, thanks to Chuck for appearing in the previous video. And of course, the Flamingo Kid was there in Cincinnati as well. So, uh, cool town to party. And I, I had a real good time. Um, they have a real nice bar area right there by the stadium. Uh, I think there are other nice places also, uh, maybe further out towards the colleges uh, to party. I'd like to go back there sometime. That's, uh, you know, I, I highly recommend Cincinnati as a party town, uh, at least from what little I saw of it. But yeah, uh, this message brought to you by the uh, Greater Cincinnati Chamber of Commerce. At any rate, um, we had a good weekend pick-wise. Uh, we threw together some picks for you on uh, Friday, made sure that we did that to at least give us some action over the weekend, and it was well worth it. Uh, we hit uh, seven out of nine picks, two in baseball, and then, uh, what, uh, five out of seven in football, college football. Uh, so good week. Um, well, just to quickly take a victory lap here. Normally we do our recap, our season recap numbers here on a Monday. We're just so far behind right now that we're just going to set that aside. Maybe we'll try to catch up on that later in the week. Uh, just so you know, uh, I'm probably a good uh, 28, 29 units to the plus in baseball year to date. Uh, our guest handicap or Pittsburgh Louie, I'm not sure where he's at. I think he's about plus 17 to 18 units, I'm going to guess, in baseball. So he's plus as well. Uh, we've done real well in baseball here this uh, season, this 21 campaign. Uh, so we're real happy about that. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I know that my audience, and I know you people want to talk about college football. Uh, so... You know, thoughts about this weekend, Alabama, you know, the elite teams right off the top. Uh, you know, we, we took Ohio State, of course, I'm an alum. Uh, that was a push. Uh, I think it's too soon to gauge this Ohio State team. I think it's still an elite team. Uh, we took Alabama. They crushed Miami. Uh, yeah, Alabama's Alabama. They're good. I, I, now, is this team better than last year? Is this team going to win it all again? Well, they got to play somebody tougher than Miami to figure that out. You know, Miami, I don't think, is very good. So, um, hard to tell there. Uh, maybe teams that didn't play quite so well. Yeah, uh, you know, Oklahoma. Uh, eh, you know, how do you think they were that good to begin with? Uh, you know, I don't think Oklahoma... I've heard a lot of talk about Oklahoma going to win the national championship. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't see it. In other words, this team has not been able to handle, you know, the, the elite teams in the playoff historically. Uh, so are, where are they going to take this big jump? You know, I, I, I don't think they're going to. And that's not just based on the fact that they were ma managed to beat Tulane by five points. Uh, but um, Clemson, I think they their elite spot has been taken from them by Georgia. Georgia's better than Clemson. We had that correct. Um, so, you know, those are your top spots you're kind of looking at. Cincinnati, they looked okay, but, you know, again, if you're styling yourself as an elite team, you better beat Miami of Ohio by four touchdowns. So, you know, you get no credit there. Um, you know, Penn State beating Wisconsin, we had that one right. Um, Penn State is, I, I, I know they had an awful year last year, and they were ready to kill uh, uh, James Franklin around here, string him up. 
I think that's a great team they got there. And I think that is Franklin's word he uses. We're great. We're not elite. Yeah, whatever. I mean, it, it, they're damn close to elite. They, 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 and they're going to have their chance later in the year when they play uh, Ohio State at Columbus. So Penn State is a very, very good team. Uh, and I think Wisconsin found that out. Um, yeah, the SEC, I mean, I, I'm not a, I don't know every last thing about the SEC. I was surprised LSU got beat. You know, we got that one wrong. I just, you know, I'm just not, I'm not buying Chip Kelly, but maybe I should be. He, he you know, kicked the shit out of LSU. So what is it? Is Chip Kelly good? And now, or is LSU bad? Maybe it's in the middle there somewhere. Maybe it's in the middle there somewhere. So I guess we got to start looking at Chip Kelly as maybe, maybe he's back. Maybe he's finally back. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> uh, trying to think of some other games that we saw there. Um, I don't know. Those are probably the uh, top things that we saw. We only have the one game here for you today. I should have mentioned that right at the top. Um, we just have the college game, the baseball, it's, it's looking pretty, you know, it's interesting. Definitely. We're really getting into some hot playoff pit races, the positioning giants beating the Dodgers over the weekend, two out of three. I'm just off it right now. You know, we picked up two games on Friday, but now I'm just kind of off it. You know, it was away all weekend. I couldn't see any highlights. I just, uh, I'm going to take a day just to re-establish myself with where we're at here and try to get a feel for who's at, who's hot, who's not, who's trying, who's not, who's fading, who's charging. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. So maybe tomorrow. But we do have an opinion on one college football game. This game tonight, this Louisville, Mississippi, Old Miss I've wondered about that. I was looking at my odds board. And, you know, it, it says Old Miss there. And I thought, what if I was from another country or something? I'm from Germany or something. And I'm trying to figure out what is Old Miss? Who is that? Where is that? <laughs> I wonder how much time you know, a German would spend looking that up, trying to figure that out. Where the hell is Ole Miss? What is that? <laughs> so luckily we just know that's Mississippi. Um, I kind of like Louisville tonight. Uh, I think we're getting some value there. This line was at 10 this morning, and now it's dropped to 9. I'm kind of thinking some smart money's coming in here on Louisville. Um, especially because I've heard a lot of commentators really ride Mississippi hard, um, saying this is going to be a blowout. Miss old miss is going to kill Louisville. Um, I actually looked at some tape on this game. For some reason, I looked this game up a couple weeks, several weeks ago, and then I just forgot about it. Then I saw it was on the board tonight. I'm like, Oh yeah, I know a little bit about this. I looked at that game two years ago. Mississippi State, not Mississippi, Mississippi State played Louisville in the bowl game, and Louisville beat them by 10. And it looked like a solid 10 from what I saw. It didn't look like a fluke 10 with a lot of fluky turnovers and what have you. Uh, so I thought, well, I mean, Louisville, or I should say Mississippi State, I view that team as pretty similar to Mississippi. And... and I don't know the first damn thing really about either school other than they're both in Mississippi. I figure they're both about the same size. They never win the SEC West. I know that. Uh, I figure they recruit the same kids, the same recruiting base. Um, so I figure teams are pretty similar. So if Louisville can beat State by 10, why are they 10-point underdogs to Ole Miss? Uh, that's, that didn't make sense to me. I think Louisville, the team that beat State, Mississippi State, same quarterback. I believe it had the same center, which is something that I look at. I think that's important. Uh, same coach. I think Louisville has a pretty good coach there in Satterfield. 
Um, Lane Kiffin, I think Lane Kiffin, you pay for him. In other words, that name boosts the odds on your team badly in the wrong direction, if you will. In other words, if you're a, you want to play Ole Miss tonight, if you just had Joe Schmo as coach, uh, uh, you know, you might be a three or four point favorite, but you got Lane Kiffin, man. So now all of a sudden you got to lay nine, 10 points rather than just three or four points. And I don't know if Kiffin's track record warrants that kind of bump in the number. You know, he's not really ever won consistently. And if you look at his against the spread record, it's nothing to write home about. Uh, Satterfield, he's just quietly won. Uh, he was uh, made App Appy State into a mid-major powerhouse. Uh, now he's cleaning up Bobby Petrino's mess. Um, I, I, I like the coaching matchup there in favor of Louisville. Um, Louisville with the veteran quarterback, uh, pretty talented quarterback. I know Mississippi has a qu talented quarterback as well in that uh, corral. Uh, but we're getting nine points. We're getting nine points. That's a lot of leeway to be wrong. So that's where we're coming with this one. Uh, we're going to go ahead, take Louisville. I, I, I kind of had the feeling this is, you know, a, a, a contrarian pick. I think a lot of the public's going to be pushing on Ole Miss here. Um, but we're going to go ahead with Louisville and uh, see if we can't sneak one in there. We had a good weekend college football-wise. And, and as I said previously, these are guesses. These are more or less just guesses. I don't have a hell of a lot to pack up these uh, picks as far as statistics, historical models. My historical model doesn't really start to work until we get some data to plug into it. You know, In other words, it's got to be week two at least. I don't have anything to plug into the model at the moment. So... Um, we're guessing that Louisville's going to keep it close here tonight in Atlanta. That's the play. Hey, it's going to get exciting here. I mean, we got what the NFL opens up Thursday, full slate of games, college football Saturday, full slate of NFL Sunday, uh, baseball. We're not going to forget about it. Um, we're definitely going to try to work some baseball in here as best we can, especially since apparently we're pretty good at it. So we're going to try to keep going with the baseball uh, and not just forget about it. Um, you know, baseball, what was, I don't even know what show that's from. That's an old show, I think, from the 70s or something. Baseball has been very, very good to me or something like that. At any rate, um, thanks for being here. And uh, hit the like button. We'll try to keep things going. Um, very good. Eric Arnold signing off. <laughs>